Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a choke sink. As you can see, I've unplugged the sink, the cap is right here and the water is not going down. Uh, there are many life hacks out in the, on the internet. You know, there's vinegar, baking soda, you can try a drain declogger and then there's what I like to call a mechanical removal. Uh, today we'll have a look at what works and what doesn't. So first off, uh, smash me a like button, okay, share and subscribe and we'll get straight into the video. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is to try the age-old baking soda and vinegar hack. How it works is we dump a bunch of baking soda into the drain hole, a bunch of vinegar, and we'll see what happens. What we want to do is put a whole lot of baking soda down the drain hole. Okay, so we've got a good amount in there. And... We're going to take our vinegar and we're going to pour it in. And they pour. A bit more. It was very smelly. Crush up the big rocks. Okay, try to put as much as that you can go into the drain hole and more baking soda and more vinegar. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll leave that for about five minutes. We'll come back and we'll see uh, see what it does. Okay, so we are back here again and it didn't work. And now look what happened. The baking soda has reacted to form this hard chunk. Okay, it's, it's like a rock. And probably that's what I have in my, you know, in my drains right now. So, um, I think we got to come in with some chemical solution and we'll try and see if that works. Alright? Alright, I'm here at the, uh, I'm here at the supermarket and there are a bunch of products that you can get for the job, uh, even more than a hardware store. So we've got the uh, pipe declogger over here, a liquid plumber, okay, uh, Magic Clean, Jackie, Mr. Perfect, all this stuff. So um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to get the most expensive one, which is Mr. Perfect. Foaming. We're gonna try the foaming one. This is uh, seven bucks. So uh, we'll see if this works, right? Most expensive one, guys. Don't say I cheated you on the, on buying the cheapest one. Getting the most expensive product. All right. So I got the uh, drain declogger here. It says foaming pipe drain declogger. Dragon works in seven minutes. Instant foaming action. Kills cockroaches. Sanitizes. Kills 99% of germs and safe on most pipes. Okay. It says here, open both caps and pour the entire content of bottle into clogged pipe. Expanding foam indicates clearing of pipe in progress. For best results, allow overnight for treatment. Or, yeah, it says 7 minutes. Okay, I'll give it about an hour or so. Okay? Do not mix or add hot water. Avoid aluminium surfaces. Avoid contacts with skin. Wear gloves and... Uh, yeah, if you come into contact, run through running water, yada yada yada, do not inhale vapor. Uh, for that, I'll turn on the exhaust fan, which I have here. There you go. And yeah, keep away from kids. So both into the sink. Okay, so it's been half an hour and I've got a bit of chopsticks here, let's see what happened. Looks like I pushed out all the hair and the gunk. And the hair is now soft. So, I think it did something. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, 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 a bucket right here. And I'm going to fill it with water. And the idea is to push all the gunk down into the drains below. And check it out.
So as you can see, vinegar and baking soda does not work. Okay, sodium bicarbonate, which is uh, baking soda, and vinegar, which is acetic acid, uh, form something called sodium acetate. It is water soluble, but it also forms these crystals that inside your pipes, which may worsen the clog. Now go, go and get yourself uh, a chemical solution, a drain declogger from the uh, supermarket or something, and that would work much better. But if that doesn't work, it means you, know, you have to open up your pipes. Click up here for that video. Uh, I'll teach you how to open your pipes and solve that. But in the meantime, you know, I hope you guys take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.